Hello guys A lot of people have problems with um, this uh, publisher called lulu.com Okay, if you are using lulu uh, as your publisher to publish books for retail uh, bookstores so in these three or six months uh, they have a problem in their converter so whenever you have a document uh, you want to uh, upload it it will show that your document has problems and they will ask you either to fix it by yourself or uh, they ask you to give it to them and you should pay and <laughs> i don't i don't suggest that you pay um, for your ebooks because it is too expensive and it's not worth it okay it's not worth it if you uh, if you have problems you can go for example to uh, uh, fiverr or to, to uh, freelancer.com and you can ask someone to do it for let's say for five dollars five dollars or uh, or ten dollars okay for your document to prepare it for uh, to prepare it for Lulu or uh, or other publisher like Smashword now for me I will give you just few things you can do and your document will be ready for Lulu and this is by experience I have the same problems that's why when I figure out the problem I give it to you guys and understand that um, this is a new channel and it's just because whenever I found problems and then I succeed to solve them so what should I do I just post them okay thank you very much now let's go to uh, to the document okay so please follow these simple steps you will make a good word document for Lulu number one Lulu accepts only three fonts please if you if you use another font Lulu will not accept it this is a very very simple thing now here on the top if you can see I put Arial as a font and 12 as uh, as um, uh, as the size but uh, listen you should or you must do one of the three either times new roman arial or galamond you find them here when you click you find all for example um you, you are looking uh, for fonts you should not use other fonts than this for example times a new romo just you go down okay it's very simple okay it's here times new roman and then we have seen arial and then you say garamond you just go uh, up and you see uh garamond where is it yes it's here so if you put another font for example you like another font lulu converter will make your document not accepted so this is a very very important thing that you should do if you don't do what i ask you to do you will have problem and maybe now since you are searching for this problem you might have this problem in your uh, document that's why you will never make it whatever you do if you choose another font than this three you will have a problem so I ask you for example let's say uh, you like uh, times new uh, Roman just keep all your documents with it don't change it or you like Arial you do Arial or you, or you like uh, Garamond you like so this is the first thing okay so whenever I, I click on any line here it's it's the same it's the same thing it's the same area that I put now this is the first thing I want to show you so I will 
I will take this first because it is understood right now. If you have a question, just ask. Okay? Second, each image cannot exceed 250 kilobyte. Now, this is uh, the size of your picture. It shouldn't be big because if you put uh, 1 megabyte or 10 megabyte, it will not accept it. And most of the time, Lulu, when you send them a question, most of the time uh, they say go and fix it. And you, you know, um, their, uh, uh, their converter is having now a lot of problems. So I don't know when they will fix this problem with their converter. But if you put more than 250 kilobytes for your image, so your image will not be accepted. So it should be 250 kilobytes and down. Second, image dimensions cannot exceed 2 million uh, pixels. It means when you, um, here is what you get this. Uh, when you get, for example, 500 by 500, you get thousands. But if uh, the image is so, so big and it exceeds 2 million, it will not be accepted. So because uh, when we say image dimension, we mean the width, we mean here. So the width and length. She is very, very simple to understand. So try to make your pictures under this, uh, the width 500. You can put 500, you could put 400, 300. So the pictures will be small and it will be good. Now, another thing which is very important, I, I will show you right now how to do it. Text should be above and below the image. This is another uh, big problem of why your text your text document or your document word document will not be accepted because uh, uh, this problem i will i will show you now how to do it and how to solve it it's very very easy okay so i will show you how to insert a picture the right way okay so let's uh, let's we go and we insert picture let's say you want to insert the picture here okay here your cursor here what you should do you should do you should go you should never uh, let's say copy a picture and paste it so copy and paste a picture like text you will have a problem so never do that for example you just uh, um, uh, take a picture and uh, you copy it and you, it means you uh, select it and then you copy it and then you put it here right away. It, it doesn't work. So here what you should do, very, very simple. Okay. So here is where you put your uh, image. What you do? You go to insert here. Insert. You click that. Go to the picture here. Click that. It, uh, it will take you to the image for example in your computer whatever it is you click that and you click insert now you see the picture okay what you should do after you do the picture you should click that here and you click in line with text click that so when you click that it's it's okay it is done and then when you click that, you, this is your picture. Uh, I use uh, only like a white thing because there is no frame. Okay, but uh, no matter. You go here and you put it in the middle here because now it is on the left side. Put it on the middle here. You click that. So your picture is in the middle and it is 500 by 500 as we have seen. So my picture right now, this picture is 500 by 500 pixels. Okay. And it is in the middle here, in the middle, in this thing, which is the center. 
So I center my picture in the center of the document. And then just leave it. Your picture is all set up and it is good. Whatever pictures you have. Okay? So we have finished with the picture. Let's now go. So uh, I will take the picture. Uh, uh, okay, just leave it. I will I will ex I will explain the next uh, the next uh, thing. The next thing you should be aware of when you do your document is and how to use the headings. Now the headings is like uh, the title of the a book, uh, the copyright page, and the other stuff. Okay, so in order to uh, make it easy for you, okay, so. We have three headings. I will right now make you a very, very small, uh, very, very small document. And you can do the same stuff. Don't change. Okay. Now, the first line, the first here of, the, of, your, uh, of your document you should write your title. For example, how to fish. Now, this is the title of your document. It means the title of the book of the book. By here you write by and you write your name. Okay? Okay? Let's say this is my name. So, how to fish is your title of the ebook. What you should do, you click that here and you go and you put heading one. Okay? Heading one, this is uh, the one that you should use for headings that are not chapters. I, I will give you an example. Now, uh, uh, look, look at this. How to fish, and it is heading one. It is, it is very clear. Okay? Now, look here on the, on the font. You understand that your Word document has changed the font to uh, to Calibri light. So, what did I tell you before? Lulu does not accept any other font. What you should do is just go here, you click that, and you put, for example, Arial. Arial is accepted. Now here, the uh, for the size, you put 16 or 20, or uh, let's say you put... Uh, uh, 28 it doesn't matter okay what matters a lot is that you should use heading one and you make sure that the font is Arial or uh, Times New Roman or Gabaron or, or, or the other font that we have seen before okay now by uh, Kareem, uh, this thing by my name. This is uh, just two in two information: your title and the publisher. Okay, so it means the writer. You, you are the writer. Okay, so this it's not it's not that important. Now, let's say uh, you put uh, just an example. Okay, introduction. Introduction. So introduction, you should use it the same. You should go to heading one and you click that. Heading one. Now, again, this is heading one. You always put heading one for uh, things that are um, headings and not chapters. I will show you the chapter later. Okay, so you, as you put introduction as heading one, on the left side, you see that you begin having 
uh, your your table of con content table of content it means how the people or how the reader will look at your uh, at your document it means uh, uh, for example the title uh, the introduction chapters and, and so on now since we have put this introduction you see that the, that the font has changed here so change it to Arial okay now when you click how to fish it's heading one introduction having one now uh, before uh, uh, I will just give you something before you do the, uh, the introduction uh, you you should do what you call copyright copyright is a very very important page in Lulu you should never uh, forget about it copyright and you should put the copyright for example um, this one and uh, you put the year let's say we are in 2019 and you put uh, your name as as the writer of this ebook okay okay uh, so you take this copyright and you select it and you put heading one when you put heading one as you can see uh, you see here that the font has changed so you always always make sure that copyright okay copyright is heading one and how to fish and introduction okay so this one thing is is done now let's go you put introduction okay you put uh, copyright you put how to fish I don't know why this doesn't come up but maybe it, it will come later no problem so the other thing uh, that you should do is let's say you begin with chapter one so chapter one should not be the same as heading one you should change it to heading two like this you select it you put heading two okay and then as you might uh, you might do uh, you find that uh, Calibri light you change it to Arial okay now um so we have one heading we have one okay we have one and we have two now let's say you you want to add uh, another um, to add another sub chapter here sub chapter let's say you put uh, chapter one then you see then uh, you put a title of the of this of this uh, item let's say um, um, kinds of fish just an example okay now kinds of fish is a what we call a sub chapter sub chapter so what you should do you should click that or select it put sh put heading three okay put heading three and then go here to the font and always put Arial so what do we have here we have how to fish which is the title we have the copyright I don't know the the copyright why uh, um, uh, let me see I put all this and I see if it uh, if it accepted ah yes yes because uh, I left uh, the other sentence that's why okay copyright here you put Arial 
So here, as you can see, it's very good. Right now, it's very good. Now, kinds of fish is a sub chapter. It means chapter one. You can you can make as many as you like. You can make two, three, four, five, ten, twenty. It doesn't matter. Each time you write this as heading three, and then here uh, you write your paragraphs. Okay, your paragraphs. So I can I can just for example give you uh, uh, another item. For example, this is kinds of fish. Okay. Now I want to put for example um, how to fish. I want to do another sub uh, sub chapter. So I I select that, put number three. Okay, and then what should I do? I go and change, please. If you forget this, if you forget to put the right font, like Arial or Times Romo or the other uh, Garabond, what will happen? Your document will not be accepted. That's why make sure to, uh, to do uh, this thing. Now, let's say, okay, and uh, as, you, as you might know, when you want to write uh, chapters, you you write whatever chapters. I don't want here to show you how to format the paragraph. You just write, and it will it will be accepted whenever you write it. Whatever you write, it will be accepted. Okay? Because the most important thing in this uh, document is to follow the right things. And this is the most important thing, which is table of content. You should use these headings. Never use heading four. Heading four is not accepted. Only three. Now, let's say um, uh, we go to... Uh, let's say you want to do chapter uh, two. Okay, it's the same thing. You select it, put number two, okay? Heading number two, as I told you before. Okay, chapter two, and change the font to Arial or to any or to other. Okay, I'm just here. Uh, what I am saying to you is just how to do it. Okay, so chapter two, Heading to, as you can see here, we are going so good. Let's say uh, now, um, okay, let's say now you put, you finish and you put uh, the conclusion. It means you finish. Conclusion of, or the last, the last item, the last paragraph. This is the conclusion, uh, which is a title. If you want to put it, if you need it, if not, you, you just uh, uh, don't put it, okay? So, conclusion should be, since it is not following the chapters and sub-chapters, it should be heading one, and then you change the font to aria. Now, what is uh, the thing that uh, we have right now, okay? So, as you can see, we have the title, we have the copyright page. Uh, uh, in the copyright uh, page, I forgot to tell you something. Okay, when you put copyright, this is one word that you should put. Then you put at 2019, uh, it means when your book was written, 2018, 19, uh, to, uh, 2012, 12, whatever, whatever year you have published it. And... Uh, your name, very, very important, you should put your name. Now, what is else you should put? ISBN number, you should put it. So, let's say your this is your uh, uh, ISBN number. Now, how do you get your ISBN number? When you want to... When you want to... Um, 
upload your ebook you will put the title put uh, the publisher it means your name and then you put that you want um, an ISBN from Lulu because it is free and it is needed if you want to uh, to uh, to publish to retailers understand that Lulu is one of the best uh, publishers it means you you don't have you don't have to uh, to send to uh, put your ebook for all the retailers by yourself it means you go to Amazon for example and you put it by yourself now Lulu do an excellent thing for free it means if it is accepted it will be sent to retailers okay so you must put the ISBN the ISBN whenever or whenever you just begin to put uh, in uh, Lulu you put your uh, title okay you put your title uh, and you put your um, name and then you should click or you tick the thing that says you want a free ISBN from Lulu now when you put that you click submit it will give you ISBN your number for this ebook so what you do you just you just copy it from uh, from the from the ebook uh, uploader you you copy it and you put it in your document it is one of the requirement so don't forget it okay you put copyright you put the year you put your name you put the ISBN you should do that but let's say you you, you want only to sell it on Lulu so most of the time when you sell at Lulu market they will not they will not ask you to have an, as an ISBN ISBN is for the retailers like Amazon like uh, uh, iBooks and the other big uh, retailers okay so please don't forget these three things copyright the year your name and ISBN do not write all, all the other things uh, if you want to write for example uh, uh, there is one uh, sentence that always that written for example you say all uh, rights reserved it, it is just something that all uh, they put you can put it. it it doesn't mean nothing because when you when you publish something you have the copyright okay so you can write it or you don't write it it's not important what is important is the copyright the year your name and ISBN don't put anything else in this in this thing don't put it because if you put something else or you put a link or you put a website or you put uh, something else it might be rejected okay so now as you can see what is the last thing you can do for this is you have another page called contact now contact you click that you put heading one because it is not a chapter or sub chapter then you change the Arial okay uh, in contact as you might know you just put um, you put your name uh, you put your links for example you have a website uh, you put uh, email okay for example your email is this just an example yahoo.com now when you just write your email and uh, and it will be blue like this it means that it is uh, working it means w when it is in the PDF file or it is in the, uh, in the retailers when people are reading they find your email they can click it and they can send you an email 
Now let's say you have a website HTTPS just an, an example of a website an, an example okay this is my website for example uh, you can write your website your uh, Facebook uh, uh, page your Twitter uh, your uh, Instagram whatever whatever website you have because this is your contact people they can contact you by this you can write also uh, something else like a bio it means you just write who you are okay uh, it is just for information so as you can see here look here we have made the table of contents you don't have to do anything else so this is the basic thing in writing a lulu accepted document believe it or not if you do what uh, what i did you will make your document accepted now um if you have any question please uh, tell me which thing that you don't understand and i will try to answer you uh, on time uh, another thing uh, understand that uh, Lulu uh, propose uh, what we call um, a converter for EPUB called I just give you the name uh, for those who know it's called Calibri Calibri is just uh, a software okay so Calibri is just a software that converts the Word document okay to EPUB. EPUB is the file that you can use in Lulu in order to uh, to upload uh, the document. It's better to use an EPUB that's why in my next video in the future i will make you this this okay this file that we have made i will make from it a successful epub and then from this epub you go to your lulu and you upload it and I will show you the process okay it's everything step by step now I uh, I suggest do not use the word document directly to um, to Lulu because it still have some problems so it's better to use Calibri and I will show you how to use Calibri software you should uh, download it uh, and it is Lulu who asks us to use Calibri to convert Word document to EPUB. And I have succeeded to make my, um, my documents into EPUBs and I publish them and they have been accepted into the retailers. Okay? So this is just um, a very precise simple thing that you should do and uh, I think that if you do as I told you uh, it will be okay so here for example I write some sentence here but it's, it shows Calibri be careful if you write a sentence or a paragraph and it says Calibri all your document will be rejected why because they don't accept another font so you take it like this you change it if you want to write something for example you want to write a note and now it's Arial and it is accepted but uh, uh, the only thing you should not write uh, things there you should uh, write the, the bio it means your biography who are you and what you are doing in life or uh, whatever information you want to supply the reader and this is called contact okay so contact 
is heading one. Conclusion, one. For example, chapter two, it is two. How to fish is three, because it is a sub chapter of ch chapter number one. Now this is the paragraph. Paragraph you write as much as you can, and sub -chap sub chapters you do whatever you want. Okay. The most important thing is to um, to do what they ask. Now I give you an example. Let's say you you don't want to write sub, -chap sub chapters. You delete them. Okay. And you see here that you have only one and two. Chapter one. It is two. Chapter two is two. Conclusion is one. Contact is one. Introduction is one. Right, copyright is one. How to fish the title one. Okay? You can just make it simple. If you are writing, for example, novels, or you are, you are writing something that doesn't need a lot of uh, sub chapters, you can just use chapter one, chapter two, chapter three until the, until uh, the last chapter. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and please as for me, I have a problem uh, with Lulu when I want to uh, 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 to want to uh, upload ebooks. But before it was good Lulu, but now it has a lot of problems into their converter. If you find that you have re has been rejected, and it asks you to ask the customer service and you can um, uh, and ask them what's the problem. Most of the time, they will not help because they ask you, oh, it needs it needs uh, it needs a job. So so what, what they what they say, they say in true, you should give us the ebook and we will fix it. But understand that they ask a lot of money to fix something that it is so easy and they do their business you know so what i suggest is do as i showed you here and in my next video i will show you how to use this into calibre and how to make an epub and then when we make an epub what we should do I will show you how to upload this ebook, uh, this EPUB into Lulu and it will be accepted. Okay? So thank you very much and please comment.